one-on-one -on -one here at the top of the key. He'll be able to see the double team coming if it happens. There's Ellington right at the free throw line area. KD gonna rear back. Fire to three! KD for three! With 3.9 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Repeat after me. And trying to dive on it, and Westbrook comes out of the pack. Here's Westbrook racing up the floor, coast to coast, and he throws it down. Oh, the hammer dunk from Russell Westbrook. And the Thunder go up by two. What an explosion. He's missed a couple of dunks late in this game. That one. And neither team fouls to give, both in the penalty. Under two to play. Harden step back. Puts up the three. Got hit. Shots good. And one. James Harden double team. And a chance for a four point play. He just looked at the crowd and said, wow. Like he is in awe of himself at this point. Don't reach because he's going to preach. And then you're forced to close out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. I want everyone to comment on the video right now. What is your favorite memory of the OKC Big Three? Of course, we're talking about the time where we had three league MVPs on the same team. We had Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, all when they were in their young 20s on the same team. They made a trip to the NBA Finals, ended up losing that one. But they were such a fun and exciting team to watch, and that's what we're looking to recreate here today. I teamed up with my boy Swag and my boy Nut. We got Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kevin Durant. Now, check out this Kevin Durant build that Nut is on. This is an offensive-minded wing. I don't know if you guys have heard of this build. I know there's a few videos out there, but this build is super good, man. Look at how unique it is. It's six foot eight, so I mean, you know, it's an inch or two shorter than what we would want for Kevin Durant. But man, super well balanced, and you're gonna see that intro clip you saw. He was going crazy all game. Now my boy Swag is on probably the best. James Harden type of build you can make in this game a playmaking shot creator extremely good ball handling shooting and then decent finishing you know so it's it's as good of a James Harden build as you're gonna get and then of course I'm on my Russell Westbrook build I'll show y'all real quick you guys already know what this is the two-way slash and playmaker with maxed out rebounding and whatnot but we have three different game plays first game Kevin Durant's gonna take over second game Russell Westbrook third game James Harden man drop a like let's get right into it so this big three back in OKC, even though it was in their younger days, man, these guys were like, they were just electric at any moment. Any of the three could absolutely take over. You had Kevin Durant, who was winning MVPs. You had Westbrook won MVPs later on in his career. And then you had James Harden, who won sixth man of the year when he was on OKC and obviously ended up capturing a league MVP later in his career as well. But this first game is going to be all Kevin Durant, okay? So we try to take turns. We wanted to show different ways of dominating a game different ways with different builds being able to just iso and cook up okay so first james harden hits a three james harden's gonna drive in kick it out kd's gonna knock one down and then kd's just gonna start going crazy okay so nut knocks that down this build that nut is on the offensive minded wing i actually had one and it's so well balanced it's such a fun build because you can be six eight or six nine and still speed boost still have great shooting and I want to mention, we have the perfect takeovers for these players. James Harden's got shot creator takeover. Westbrook has slashing takeover. And then Kevin Durant has sharpshooting takeover. Now, you could say KD has shot take. I mean, you could go either way. But since James Harden already had shot take, we, we wanted a different, you know, I wanted to have a three different takeovers. And the fact that Nut had sharp take is perfect. Okay, so look it. This is on a 6'8 offensive-minded wing. Nut going absolutely crazy. You see the little Steph Curry slide behind the back. Double crossover, rim run, two-hand finish. It's crazy what that build is capable of doing, especially when... You have such a skilled player like Nut using it, okay? Check this out. Spin back, behind the back, absolute kill, off dribble, three from Limitless, and he greens that, man. Nut's out here going crazy. Check out this clip. You guys already saw this in the intro. Look at just destroying, pulls up in his face, bang! What a first gameplay, bro. Kevin Durant goes out of his mind. Shout out to Nut for that because that was wild what we just witnessed, okay? Let's get into game number two. So game number two, and it's time for me to show out. Time for Westbrook to do what Westbrook does. So I would go get a triple-double, but obviously if you do the math, it's not possible to get 
10 assists and 10 points in the same game along with 10 rebounds obviously but you can't get 10 points and 10 assists in a part game so i figured i might as well get a double double and try to get over 10 rebounds but you also have to realize i'm only on a 6-5 guard so it's not going to be the easiest thing to do but i was locked in and ready to make it happen as you can see we got james harden playmaker shot creator russell westbrook two-way slasher playmaker and kevin durant offensive minded wing let's get right into game number two here in the park so if we're going to try to play like Russ and represent his play style for one game in the park, first thing we have to do is show off our athleticism. Russ is obviously a freak athlete, so we're catching lobs like that. The second thing we have to do is attack the basket relentlessly. Russ is somebody that he does not care. He is going to make things happen by getting in the paint, slashing to the basket, just attacking with no regard for human life. And third, we have to pursue the basketball like a madman, like someone that does not care if he gets hurt. He does not care how tired he is. He's going after every rebound, every loose ball, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So anytime we have the opportunity, we're attacking the basket. But if they're going to back up, I mean, we're on a two-way slash and playmaker, the most broken build in 2K20. We're going to spark it and shoot greens. But let me know what you guys think. If these three never split up, if James Harden never got traded, if KD never leave, et cetera, et cetera. Would these guys have ever won a championship together? The three of these players on the same team, would they have been able to make it work and find a way to win the chip? Let me know what you guys think, but check it out. At this point, we have four rebounds, right? So I'm gonna throw it to KD, he can't get it to go. We're ripping down the board. Whether it's offensive or defensive rebounds, you already know Westbrook is attacking the glass relentlessly. KD, again, can't get it to go, but look at Westbrook flying out the corner, snagging up like crazy. Remember, this is on a point guard, man. The rebounding on this Russell Westbrook build is just insane. Another offensive rebound, so just like that, we're already up to eight rebounds now so we're closing in on that double double that we want obviously we want the triple double but we can't get assists and points in park like we talked about so i'm two rebounds away from getting what i needed this dude shoots a heavily contested shot that's our ninth rebound now katie's gonna cook up a little bit get himself a bucket get him going that gives us 19 so this is basically the last chance we got to get a stop and I got to find a way to come down with the board. So I'm going to leave my man to just completely sell out for the rebound. I end up snagging it. Now I ended up getting an offensive rebound anyways, which gave me 11 rebounds. But check it out. 17 points and 11 rebounds in a part game with my point guard. Like... <laughs> Only Westbrook, man. Only Westbrook. Game number three, though, it is now James Harden's turn. And like we said, different styles of dominating the game. We had KD at first, who's a tall ISO player, shooting threes, getting to the basket, shooting off dribbles, all that type of stuff. Then we had Westbrook, who's just like a do-it-all, attack the basket, energizer bunny, never stop, never get tired type of, you know, just all over the court type of player. And then you got James Harden, who's not, you know, he's different from both of them. He's not a tall Kevin Durant type player he's not a russell westbrook high energy type player james harden is just a straight up bucket just whether it's iso pick and roll he's just offensively insane you know step back threes insane handle just a straight up bucket probably the best scorer in the nba today and as you can see they're just at this point just doubling him and he's doing what harden does just scoring anyways it's insane that people are literally guarding james harden like this in real life as soon as he steps over half court they trap him and try to make him give up the ball and he still gets 30 a game it's it's insane what this guy is doing. I know a lot of people try to throw, you know, throw shade on him because, you know, he gets fouled a lot. But guess what? When they can't guard you, they foul you. Now, he does bait some foul calls and whatnot. I hear you. But come on, give the man his respect. Even in his younger days when he was winning sixth man of the year playing for these guys, you know, playing for OKC with, with KD and Russ, he was still just a bucket he was coming off the bench but he was a bucket and he would just take games over at times but check this out westbrook that is typical russell westbrook so harden got double teamed and got fouled off the inbounds grab the inbounds pass run straight down the court to the basket and get a contact dunk like this that is some straight up russell westbrook type activity man but this gameplay is about james harden so you already know James Harden's got to wrap this one up. We had our Kevin Durant gameplay. We had our Russell Westbrook gameplay. Now we got our James Harden gameplay. This dude at this point gave up. They're double teaming. Does not matter. Step back three, four to win. Bang. This has been the throwback OKC big three at the park. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden reunited one last time in NBA 2K20. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.